guys so today I am doing a pack with me video I am going to Europe I'm going to Europe for 13 days I've, I've never been to that part of the world and I hope after this time I get to go again and go to new places and I'm like really excited because I don't know this is the second time of me going on an airplane the first time was last summer and I went to Mexico and it was like three hours long and to comparison to this flight it's like 12 hours and like with layovers and like I've never done that before so it's pretty cool well, I will be vlogging so you guys could check out those videos after I come back from my trip I'll be uploading them so so it's gonna be a while till I upload those videos because after I am going to another trip well it's like a little road trip with my family for the 4th of July and I'm going to Lake Tahoe so I'll also be vlogging there so I'm not going to be able to like post but you guys can follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat they're going to be linked down below so you guys can see what I've been up to what I'm doing while I'm in Europe and then when I go to Lake Tahoe and then I'll have the video up for you guys after those two trips of mine so let's Okay, so to start off, I want to show you guys my carry-on. So I have this suitcase. It's like just, I'm pretty sure it's just a standard size suitcase. It's like black and it has this like pretty floral print. And I just got it because I never, I'd like, I've never had like to use a small one. So I got it because I usually use like the normal ones. Because, you know, I overpack. So this is the inside of it. Of it. So it has like these pockets. I don't know if you guys can see. So here, this opens the whole thing, and then it has like this for like my underwear and like bathing suits or something if they fit. It's kind of tiny on this side. This side is actually a little bigger. So here, and I'm gonna show you guys my other bag. Okay, so this is my second bag, and it has a E and F for education first. It stands for that, and it's. The program I'm going with with like some kids from my school and it's pretty cool I guess and so this is the inside of it it opens like all the way like all the way and um, then it has these parts for your water on the side and it has oh it has also a bag in the front that you can also put some things and then another zipper inside secret compartments and then like right here like you can't even see it's like very secret and like it has a little pocket which this is a pocket and then on this tag we write like our name address phone number and tour name which is pretty cool and so these are the so this and my suitcase are the only things I'm taking with me so everything you guys saw is fitting in that and in this because this is all I'm allowed to take. So, uh, the zipper got stuck. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I'll show you guys how I get everything in these two things. So, let's go. Okay, so I am starting with in the inside of this. So, I'm going to fill this up first. And then after this, I'm going to put the things in the zippers. So, uh, now we're gonna just going to get the clothes. We're going to fill it up. And... I'll show you guys how I fold my clothes to make them fit better. Okay, so I am starting with my thicker clothes first. So like my jeans, for example, my jean shorts. And so to start off, I am folding the inside of the short because it's like long. And I am fold like rolling. I am rolling it as tight as I can like this. And then I am putting it right here. And now I'm going to do the same with my, all my other shorts. So here again, I am putting in the inside of it. I'm grabbing it. And I am rolling it as tight as I can. And I am putting it next to the other shorts. Now my other one. Putting the inside in. Rolling it. So I start from the top, as you can see. And then I just roll it to the bottom. I have it and I press it down. Okay, so I have a couple of them, so now this one. Okay, so I am, am taking 
a pair of jeans. So for my pair of jeans, they're just uh, folded in half like this and then folded in half like this. And I am just going to roll them starting from right here and then folding it as tightly as I can. See, so like, it's already, like, really tight. And then I'm pressing down and tight again and pressing down. So this is how it ends up. Just finished and this is how it ended up. So it is a little higher than this, but after I close it, it's gonna close, you know? It's gonna look, I'm gonna zip it up and it's gonna fit. So I ended up fitting one, two, three, four, five at the bottom and four on top. So that's actually a lot. Now I just have to do my thin clothes and I'm gonna put them some right here and then I don't think all of them are gonna fit here but then I'm gonna put some more over here so I'll show you guys how I fold that okay so for my t-shirt I'm just gonna lay it out and this one kind of like ties in the middle so it gets like tight so I'm just gonna grab it and fold it in half and then fold it in half again and I am going to tuck the string in and then I'm going to tuck the sleeve in and then from the collar I am going to fold it as tight as I can like the jeans that tight 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 and there you go a tight little braid okay now this loose shirt it's got to be a little different so it's like very loose very loose and I am going to tuck this in and tuck this in and fold it in half and fold it in half again and then I'm gonna flip it and starting from right here I'm going to roll it tightly and there we go. It's okay if some of it goes in, out, like it comes out. You could just tuck it in if it bothers you, but like I'm okay, so. Okay, so now for this type of shirt. So this is kind of like a pain in the butt because it just comes out. And then it just has these like little like thin straps. So I'm just gonna tuck this in. And this is thicker material than the other two shirts. So I'm just gonna flip it and fold it. And this is a little fatter than the other. So then from here, I'm not gonna fold it again and then roll. I'm just gonna start rolling from here. So I'm just gonna get it as tightly as I can and roll it. So then now like that. So like if, if I let go, it's gonna fall apart. But when I put it in the suitcase, it's gonna hold with all the other shirts. So here's it. This one okay, now for this yellow one so it's kind of a mix of the last two two shirts so it's like has like the harder material material up here and the thinner one down here so I am just gonna fold the two sleeves in and fold the little thing right here that comes out and I'm gonna fold it in half and then I'm gonna flip it towards me I'm gonna put this in again and then from here, I am going to start rolling it. So, just like this, and try to keep this in as much as possible, these flaps. And then, there you go. This one might fall apart too. Oh, there we go. See, it's Now there. for my dress. So, I am just laying it out, and I am grabbing it from right here and folding it in half. And then from here, I am folding it in half again. And then I am tucking this in and folding it in half again. And then from here, I am going to start to roll it as tightly as I can. So if you guys can see, like, you have, like, the little trend that I'm doing is, like, rolling it tightly. Because the tighter you roll it, the tighter your roll is going to be, you know? So, there is my dress. It's gonna fall apart, but when I put it together with another clothes, it's okay, gonna- so if your clothes just keeps like unrolling and it doesn't have that 
steadiness, I guess, you can grab an elastic. And this is just like the ones like are for that are for your hair. And you could just put it through. So just like this. Just put it through. And like you might need two. I'm using two. So I'm just doing it on this side and then on this side. I'm getting another elastic. And I'm just putting it through. And that way you make sure your clothes don't unroll. So both really work. Um, I might do this to some of my clothes. Some of my clothes are okay. Like they don't need the elastic. So this is another way you can do it. So now I am just putting in my shirts. So each of these shirts are shirts that go with um, the shorts that I have right here. That way I can keep track of the pairs I have because I did take pictures of my clothes, like the pairs that I had together. That way I won't forget which ones go with which. And that's also a hack. That way... Sometimes you forget and you just wear it with different things and like it could still be cute, you know, but like just not what you were planning to wear and personally I pick out things that I know why I want to wear them, you know, okay, so, so I'm actually moving So this is a dress so I'm gonna put it off to the side, but the shirts that go with the shorts These shorts I'm going to put them on top of each other that way it's a little more organized, and then I have other pairs of clothes on this side. So now on this side, I am just putting these um, like thin shorts with the shirt I'm going to wear it with. I'm going to put the shirt on top, actually. And then I am putting these other shorts that are thin, too, with the shirt. That way it's a little more organized, and just this tank top right here and This part is closed, and I'm just gonna fill this up with my um, my underwear and socks and any little thing that fits in these two. So I'm just gonna put those in. Okay, so I just finished um, putting in my socks and underwear. So now I'm moving on to this side of the suitcase. Okay, so I do have a couple more clothes left to put in but first I'm going to put in my bigger things first that way I make sure they fit like my um, purses my hats and my shoes so I'm just gonna put them in here the rest of my clothes. I just fold in my hat in a way that I'm pretty sure it won't get like ruined like it'll just pop back up so I just like pressed it down right here and I folded this side both sides like this you know it's like this so now I just have to like place it probably I'll place it here under my purse there we go it fits perfectly I'm not gonna take the other one I don't think I'm going to unless I find room for it and now I'm just gonna lay my straightener on top and that is it okay so I just finished my suitcase so this was already closed up as I showed you guys and I just filled this part up and it's 
pretty good. I don't even think I'm gonna have to open the second part because I have the second part, but I don't want to open it because I don't know. I just don't want to, and I'm just gonna and I'm just gonna buckle this up, and then I'm just gonna close it up, and my suitcase is gonna be done. I just finished filling this suitcase up so now for this smaller one the backpack so let's fill this one so up. this is my toiletry bag so it's like this long like bag that like you can fold up and then it buckles right here with these two clips if I can buckle it okay there we go um okay it's just a turquoise color with gold like palm tree leaves. It's really cute and like you can hang it up in any bathroom. So you can hang it up like this and then when you need it you unroll it and then you've got everything right in front of you. So I really like it. So yeah, I'll just show you guys how I fill it up. Okay, so for this top pocket I am putting in um, my toothpaste and my foldable toothbrush so then it's like big and then you can put it away and just fold it in close it and then just put it away and i am putting this into and a chapstick and a lip and a lipstick Oh, mouthwash. And I'm putting this little, these um, cotton pads. That way when I take off like my eye makeup, I can use this instead of like toilet paper or something. So I'll just put this in here. And I'm also going to take my razor. So just that in oh oh and also a hair tie because oh, now I can put my hair up mm, zipping that up the first pocket so now for the second pocket I am putting in some makeup wipes I just put these in a little ziplock bag because I had like a big um bag and I didn't want to bring the whole thing so I put that in and then I am putting in my makeup brushes so when I do my eyes and my like um powder brush so I'm just putting those in and then I am putting my lint roller so dirty Take off the little paper. Okay, so I'm putting this in and then I'm putting four hair ties in this one and my earrings there here. And that's all for the second bag. So that's my second pocket. Now for my last pocket, I am putting in my Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Very beautiful. And I am putting it in here. And I'm also putting in my Jaclyn Hill palette, the armed and gorgeous one with these colors. And I'm putting that in here too. And my um, baking powder. Putting that in here, my foundation and my primer, putting that in here too, um, my mascara and my eye curler and my concealer. My makeup my eye makeup remover 
my moisturizer, my sponges. I'm actually gonna put my sponges in here, actually. So I'm gonna put my sponges in here. And then this, I brought a brush in here too. And then my Anastasia brow. And then my, um, not my concealer, my, um, what is this? Um, bronzer. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot what it was called for a second. So just putting that in there. And that is it. The final pocket in the bag. So this is it. Okay, so for my carry-on, for my backpack carry-on, I am putting in this, my makeup bag and everything, and also I'm putting in, my hair things are in here, just my, my hair brush and hair ties and everything, and then my GoPro box that has everything that I need for it. And then the clothes I am going to be wearing after I get off the plane. So now let's just open it up. And there we go. That's all I am going to be taking in here. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and I hope some of my tricks and hacks a little helped you guys. Um, if you guys are going anywhere this summer, please let me know down below. I'd love to hear about it and please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. Bye!